hello and welcome back to the channel so let's get started with our another sql query engine which is apache phoenix so in the previous lecture we have seen all about apache drill how we can install it and how we can work with it and get access to multiple databases at once but apache phoenix is more or like focused on only one no sql database which is edge base so as you already know that edge base is nothing but a no sql database and it's made for Hadoop ecosystem. So it's like a NoSQL database made for Hadoop because it uses HDFS as its storage layer and it improves the capability of Hadoop ecosystem. So this Apache Phoenix is nothing but a SQL skin on top of HBase. So it will just give us the capability to run simple SQL queries on top of HBase database. And we can connect it through a JDBC driver to our edge base table so we can say it as it is a sql for no sql so apache phoenix is also fully integrated with other hadoop products which are also spark hive pig as well as MapReduce, which we have seen in the previous lectures and its main task it just takes the sql query then compiles it and converts it into a series of edge base scans and orchestrate this running to produce the result set which we need but let's discuss where this phoenix actually sits on our Hadoop ecosystem. So as you can see in this figure, the phoenix sits on top of HBase, which again sits on the HDFS because it uses HDFS as its storage layer. And we can connect to our HBase by using the JDBC client. So you can say this is more or like integrated into a Hadoop ecosystem if you compare it to the drill. But you may ask, why we don't use drill because drill also have capability to query edge base tables so there is no obvious answer to this question because both does the similar job and we cannot say one is better than the other but as the phoenix is only focus on the edge base technology so if you are only dealing with edge base and it makes sense to use phoenix instead of drill because all the optimizations or any modifications in the future will be more focused while considering edge base in mind because phoenix only deals with edge base so now let's discuss why we need apache phoenix because we have other technologies which we can use to run some sql on top of our hdfs data such as apache hive because hive is nothing but added functionality to our hadoop ecosystem which manages the structured data and provides a sql like language which is nothing but hive ql for querying the tables in this Hive data warehouse. So I hope you already know about Hive. If not, you can refer to our previous tutorials to get you more understanding. But you have to understand that Hive doesn't provide record level operation, which are nothing but insert, update and delete operations. So this DDL and DML operations are supported by Phoenix. So to overcoming this drawback, HBase is developed for Hadoop ecosystem for supporting these record level operations. But the edge base shell only can provide you the scans or get, put or list this type of commands for querying the table or else to get a row, put the row or for listing out the tables. But it has introduced its own sets of command and doesn't allow us to run some simple SQL queries which are familiar to most of the peoples. So that's why Phoenix come in the picture to solve this issue and it's just like a SQL skin on top of HBase. So as you already know about SQL and it makes sense and easier for people to use HBase. So rather than learning the another API, you can just use the language which you already know. So that's why Phoenix is a very popular choice among those who uses HBase in their organizations. So now let's talk about some of the main features of Apache Phoenix. So the first one we have already discussed. So it will provide us the JDBC driver for connecting with HBase. So by using this, we can directly connect to HBase and run some SQL queries. So this functionality is also similar to drill where we can connect to different databases through the JDBC ODBC drivers and run some SQL queries. But in this case, it is only suitable for HBase. The next one is it supports ANSI SQL standard. So if you are aware with SQL, you can pretty much know how to use Phoenix. Just you need to make sure how to connect to HBase database and that's it. The next one is it supports the DDL commands. 
so create table or drop table or alter table so these sorts of ddl commands are supported by apache phoenix and the same goes for dml also so the commands like upset values for row by row insertion as well as upset select for mass data transfer from one source to another and also the delete operations for deleting the rows so these all operations are supported by phoenix so as i already told you that it compiles the sql query into the series of edge based scans and those scans produces the regular jdbc result sets and those scans will be running in parallel for producing our result sets and i almost forgot one main feature that it easily integrates not only with edge base but it integrates well with pick flume as well as scope so what is flume and why it is used that we will be covering in our upcoming lectures but it has some limitations because since it's a no sql database it is not recommended to use join operations from phoenix because no sql databases are not meant for running complicated join operations because it is like a denormalized schema where we have n number of columns and billions of rows so the join operations will be more suitable when we have normalized schema just like in rdbms and also it doesn't supports full outer join or cross joins so this will be not supported by apache phoenix so this was all about what is phoenix how it is used as well as we have seen some main features and why we are using it so in the next lecture let's set up apache phoenix so that we can query the data present in our edge base and if we don't have any data then we can insert some data and play with it to get some meaning out of that data so if you have faced any difficulties till now just let me know in the comments and i'll try to resolve it as soon as possible i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media which i have linked in the description below thanks for watching